All right, YouTube, today we're gonna to be talking about how the CDL veto process works. I get questions like this all the time in my stream, like what goes into who's picking which side and how you know the vetoes actually work uh, behind the scenes. So you guys on the stream always see some type of graphic, usually after the first map that looks just like this. And this is basically the detailed uh, description of what happened in the veto process. But I'll talk about a little bit in more detail of how it all goes down in the behind the scenes process. So uh, the first things first, uh, we'll talk about team A versus team B. So to start off, who picks team A and who picks team B and you know how is that decision made? So first things first, uh, the team that gets to pick team A or team B is the one that wins the coin flip if it's an online match or if we're at a LAN tournament, it is the team that has the better seating going into that major uh you know during those qualifiers whoever had uh, the better record or you know basically finished in a higher seed gets to choose uh, what they want but what goes into that decision is you know first off if we're talking about team a they have the map one and the map five pick so they get to pick the maps in that series for maps one and map five and then team b gets to pick maps two and maps four so it's whether you want you know your comfort picks map one and map five or would you rather have you know your comfort picks map two so earlier search and a later hard point uh, but the big thing to realize here is if you do not pick the map you get the side pick so sometimes you'll see teams pick team b specifically to get their first search in there and also start on a good side on the map one expecting that they're going to have their comfort pick at map four later on in the series is if it has to get to that map four so they're starting with a good good side then they get their comfort pit search uh so that's you know a start that some teams specifically want other teams if they want to pick team a you know start with your comfort pick on map one and then you're going to have you know that good side later on map four and then even your map pick map five so it's already dependent on what you want to do in that specific matchup what the maps you think are going to be in that series and you kind of can tailor it based on uh, what your team is feeling so to go into the actual uh, veto process itself we're starting with team a so let's say you know we're taking a look at this specific series here we pick team a you can always see it in this specific screen usually again they'll pull it up after the map one uh, so you'll see who picked which side in the series and then you'll also be able to see all the vetoes and the picks here but what's really important to note you know even if you go uh, into the middle of a, a specific map you can always see that team a is always going to be this left-sided team uh, compared to team b that's going to be on the right side here i think it's it's a little bit different if there's a home series because the home team will always be on this side but every other time you know if it's just an online match or if it's just you know a regular tournament with two teams that aren't the home team uh, you'll always see them uh, on this side if they're team a and they'll always be team b if they're on this side so we'll go back to the other screen here it was i believe at 16 30 yeah so it's right over here so uh, to start off, Team A gets the first hardpoint veto. In this specific series, we vetoed Rio, and that gives uh, Vegas the choice of another veto, uh, and they're gonna veto Subbase in this series. So uh, based on these two vetoes, it goes now into the hardpoint map picks. We go into map one. We have a decision that we wanna make. We can either pick Karachi map one, we can pick six star map one, or we can pick Vista map one. We end up picking Karachi here. And then Vegas, they have a decision on the two remaining maps. Obviously one is going to be completely left out of the series. In this case, it was Vista. They pick six star, so we're gonna get good side on six star hardpoint. They're gonna get whatever you know side pick they want on the Karachi. We'll move on to the search now. Now it flips over to the other side. Since Vegas is team B, they're going to get the first search and destroy veto. They veto Karachi, obviously a strong map for us. We vetoed Rio search in this series. Now it goes once again to their pick because they are team B. They get their map two pick. They picked invasion here. So we get the side pick for round one in that search and destroy. And then obviously for the map five, we get to pick the decider, weak pick, high rise, and obviously uh, the one left out map for search and destroy here is six star so that was completely left out of the series just like vista hardpoint was and then finally moving on to control we are team a so we get the first control veto we veto invasion that means there's only two maps left karachi and high rise and because there's only three maps for control it's basically just a pick at that point so vegas they just pick high rise over karachi rather than just having another veto and because they pick high rise 
we get the side pick for round one for this control. So we pick defense here. Uh, so that's basically the entire veto process. Every single veto process works like that. Obviously uh, at the tournament, the finals uh, is a best of seven. So it works a little bit more differently. And team A is always gonna be more preferred in that finals just because of the extra side picks and uh, extra veto that you do have coming from the winner's bracket. So this is the exact way that the CDL veto process works. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope this was a pretty good breakdown for you guys because I always get this question in my streams and you know the only way that you are able to see how the vetoes work is if you know they cut to one of the screens on the broadcast and you know it is a really interesting way to think about it obviously there are a lot of mind games that can go on you know whether you're going to throw a veto that's not really expected to the other team they have to start picking and choosing their battles and what they're going to actually pick based on your vetoes and you can kind of play around with what's going on in terms of the meta in terms of how they're vetoing in their last few matches or how they might be having an auto veto in a certain game mode so there's a lot of things that go into it in depth but this is the exact process of how everything works uh, going into a match so hope you guys enjoy this video thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one